Hello, in this video I will show you how to use the new short hair feature in the hair tool. And the setup is quite simple. You will have uh, the base object and the add-on will create the uh, two copies of the object, one for the hair and one for the deformation of hair. So if I edit the deformer object, you will see that the it will guide the shape of the uh, the hair object and uh, you can select the hair object if you want and go to the modifier and uh, play with the settings in here and uh, now I will show you how to create this uh, from scratch so let's open new scene and uh, to add short hair you just select the object and then use Control shift h set up short hair the hair object will be created and the guiding object will be created. The guiding object is displayed as bandage box just to, uh, to not obscure the viewport. So I will select the hair and maybe reduce the length by reducing the path uh, slider. And then I will select the deformer and let's go to the sculpt mode. In sculpt mode you can use NMesh. And uh, I, found out, I found out that the best brush for combing is the notch because most of the brushes are, are just pushing the geometry outside but the notch brush is actually moving the geometry, sliding the geometry on the surface. So in this kind of effect looks uh, most like combing. And uh, the short hair is uh, looking best when it is aligned to the surface of the mesh. So that's why you probably will want to spend some time and to comp every place so that the hair is not going uh, straight out of the surface, but so that it is kind of bit uh, following a bit more of the geometry and it is closer to the mesh surface. Uh, also inflate brush is kinda cool because it allows easily to uh, increase the length of the strands. So after you generated and combined the hair, you will want probably to break the even look of the hair strands. We can go to the hair and in the modifier maybe increase the noise so it will help, help slightly, but also we can randomize the UVs. So in the UV image editor, uh, I, will, I will open the texture that is automatically imported by hair tool. And I want to add different, uh, uh, assign different texture regions to hair cards. I can edit the UVs by the hair UV button. This is the default UV. I will add additional UV box maybe in here and one additional UV box in here and uh, automatically each of them is randomly picked by each hair card. So this already looks uh, more random and I can press enter to accept. Uh, there is option to, uh, to manually assign UV regions. So if I go to edit mode I can select uh, any edge. I can select any match and using Control Shift H, I can uh, set UV region and then pick one of the three UV boxes that we uh, that we painted. If I zoom in, you can hopefully see that I can assign to those edges, selected edges, UV box. And if you want, you can uh, shift click to select multiple multiple UV boxes and they will be randomly assigned to the selected edges. Uh, often, uh, often one problem that you will face is that uh, for narrower hair cards, you will want narrower UV box. So to do this, uh, I will maybe disable the modifiers, uh, go to the edit mode, and uh, narrower hair cards are generated from uh, shorter edges. So I can just select one short edge, use Shift G to select similar by length. And in the properties, I can uh, change uh, compare 
to less and then edges shorter than this this length will be selected so maybe something like this is okay we have selected short edges i can now use Control shift h to set uv region and then if you remember second uv box was this narrower texture spot so i will assign this narrower texture spot to selected edges i can now use Control uh, e to invert and then use again Control shift h to assign uh, uv boxes and then i will assign the wider uv boxes to the wider edges uh, i will enable the modifier and hopefully you will see that we have now uh, better looking fur with correctly applied uh, texture uh, another step that you can do is to assign uh, vertex colors so if i go to the uh, vertex paint then i can paint the object but we do not see the effect it is because the generated hair cards you have to tell them to use vertex color so in here in the vertex color i click the plus then select the color property and we still do not see anything because now i have to go to the material and in the hair tool short hair material there is this mix vertex color just and i increase the slider to mix vertex color influence and now hopefully you can see that we can paint the uh, vertex color like so so the next step would be to export this to the uh, game engine you can do this by just selecting the short hair then Control shift h convert to mesh and uh, that's it if i go to edit mode you see that the uvs are generated so you can then just press file export and export to the game engine and uh, you can see the modifier is gone but if you want you can go back use, using the Control shift h Control shift h restored short hair base mesh and you can continue working on hair modeling so this covers the short hair modeling tutorial and i will put link to the documentation in the description in there you will have more info how to use the short hair modifier and i will put some uh, tips and tricks in there see you